Welcome to Vintage Horror Cinema. This is the second episode in an audio series where we explore unsettling, frightening, and haunting radio shows from the golden age of radio. In this episode, we are listening to Money, Money, Money from Lights Out, a radio program from the 1930s and 40s. Enjoy this haunting transmission from the past. Lights out, everybody. It is later than you think. This is Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. Two cents. Three cents. Four cents. Five cents. Six cents. Seven cents. Two dollars. Three dollars. Four dollars. Five dollars. Six dollars. Two million. Three million. Four million. Five million. Six million. That's wrong very world today, money. What are you talking about? Say, look, Tony, ain't that the pretty boat? Yeah, the devil with the boat. What do you say about money? Hey, you said that money was what was wrong very world. Tellers get a lot of money, and then they want more of it. They get that, and they want more, and pretty soon that's all they think about is money, money, money. Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> money. Yeah, so what are you talking about? You you don't understand, Tony. Hey, you don't understand yourself. All the time you talk. Go away, let me alone. No, no, Tony. Don't get sore. I was only talking. Yeah, that's what's wrong. It don't make no sense. Mine is what's wrong with the world. <laughs> you fool. You crazy in the head. No, by Yemeni, I ain't crazy. I, I tell you, it ain't right. The man who works hard with his hands and don't think about money all the time can't have what he want to have. Yeah. What do you want to have, eh? A form, Tony. A little form. Huh? What do you say? A uh, little stock form. Someplace good, like Wisconsin or maybe Minnesota. Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I say something funny, maybe. A farm, eh? <laughs> That's funny. That's <laughs> not funny. For 13 years, I work on the ship, and I have saved my money for farm. I don't like the money. I just want a farm for my wife and my kids. And then... Yeah, yeah I know. Then in 29, the bank, she's go bust and you back where you start. Eh, actually? Yeah, I, I tell you, Tony, it ain't right. I work so hard. And my wife and my kids, they wait for me to bring the money to buy the farm so they could all be together. Oh, shut up. I don't know why a smart guy like me wastes time with a dumb bell like you. Just because I work on the same ship with you don't mean I gotta listen to you shut off your mouth all the time. But I work so hard. So what? It'll work to make my rich. It's the break. Yeah, a break. Oh, I'm the best deep water diver in the whole Pacific. So what? Never get the break, so I'm still eating a ship, a slop, and a walk in the docks. Yeah, Tony, that's what I say. Someday when a man works hard. Oh, shut up. You don't know what you talk about. You gotta get the door, big door. And you can't get a big door with work. Someday it breaks, she's going to come my way. And then Tony's going to be a big shot. Tony ain't going to take nothing from nobody. I'll grab that door any way I can get it. No, Tony. Money, but they ain't honest, don't make a feller happy. Uh, you lunk, shit. Telling you when I get a chance, I'm going to get that door if I have to make the devil my brother. I tell you... All right, sailors, move on, move on. 
No bumming around the dock. Yeah, yeah, officer. We go, we go. Fat belly. What's that? What's that you said? No, no, officer. He don't say nothing. That is Mr. Tony, officer. He's the best deep water diver in the whole Pacific. Yeah? Well, if he said what I think he did, he's going to be doing all his diving in the cane for about 30 minutes. No, no, believe me, officer. Tony, he don't mean nothing what he says. He's a good man. He... Uh, shut up and get out of here, the both of you. Come on, Tony. Uh... And tell that big mouth diver friend of yours to get a job and dive out of town or I'll run him in. Uh, the cut out is a heart. No, no, Tony, please. You come this way. We don't want no trouble. Shoving me around. Me, Tony. Best man we ever put on a diving rig. Let me go have something to eat, eh? Uh, shoving me around. <laughs> Yeah, monsters don't make no difference, eh? But I didn't say that, Tony. I said that uh, board. Well, the devil will work. Money, that's what you gotta get. Any old way but Gary. Gary and you, they eat out your hand. They kiss your feet. Come on, Tony, in here. We, we get a cup of coffee. That's what they say. Dog eat dog. I'm telling you, sweet. Me, I'm gonna be the big dog. I tell them what to do. Yeah, sure. Come on in. I pay. Mmm, it's nice and warm. Dump. What are you going to have, boys? Uh, two cups of coffee. Well, maybe you like soups, eh? I got a nice hot soup. No, we just want coffee, please. And get the lead out of your pants. Okay, okay. Two coffees. Yeah. So what do you want to do for us get the farm, eh, Swiss? Yeah, my wife, she wants... Who cares about your wife? <laughs> the farm. For 13 years, I have Okay, worked... here you are, boys. Nice coffee. There you are. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, coffee is good when you're cold, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that guy was winning. He don't drink coffee tonight, I bet you, eh? What guy? Well, the guy was winning the sweeping stays. You know, the, the, the seller sweeping stays. What's the matter? Don't you hear it? Yes, well, so what's this guy blowing about? Well, I'm telling you. The seller sweeping stakes. Everybody is buying tickets. $3,000 first prize, you betcha. He's in the papers, he's winning. Yeah, boy, he's lucky guy. It's all cares. Give me some more coffee. Okay, okay. No, no, wait a minute, mister. Yeah? Uh, this fellow, that one, you, you say his name is in the paper? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Here, I got the paper here. You get yeah. my coffee. No, wait, Tony. I, I want to hear. Read it, mister. Okay. He say, uh, a winner, first prize is uh, uh, somebody... Who give the name of uh, uh, farmer? Farmer. That's smart, Swens. I do uh, need quick. It's very sick. Hey, that's my paper. Hey, Tony, come on, quick, come on. Hey, crazy square had to wait for me. That's uh, uh, Wait, you crazy fool. That's not you. Where you going? Tony, hey, listen, it's me. Me. Me what? Uh, what do you say? Former, that's the name I gave the man when I buy the ticket. I'm rich, Tony. I can get the form. You, yeah. you mean you? Yeah. What he says in there is yeah. you? Yeah, Tony, me. I buy sweepstakes ticket a long time ago. I, I win B. I win. Yeah. Yeah. Press. Press in hand. Oh, no, I tell you, I win. Look. Former, that's me. Tony, me. Oh, my wife, my kids, they'd be so happy. So happy. No, 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 yeah. no, wait. It's right. Huh? I mean, uh, look, it's a given number here. Yeah. Uh, take the number there. Uh, six, nine, uh, three, three. Uh, you got that number? Uh, yeah, yeah, I give name former and wait it. How did you take it? Where's the ticket? Yeah. You, you don't get a money without the ticket. Uh, yeah, here. I, I put it in my pocket. No, she's not there. I, wait. I, Hold your pockets. Put them out. If you lost it, I'm a cook. Well, no, I got it here. I got it, Tony. Let me see. No, no, please. Thirteen years, have it. It's Mario. I ain't gonna hold it. I just wanna look. Look. Six, nine, three, three. You still can see it in the paper. Yeah. You? Yeah. You did win. Yeah, Tony, I win me. Oh, my honor. Three thousand dollars, and we wait so long. Three thousand dollars. I get to see, Tony. I buy farm. Oh, my honor, my kids and me, we be the happiest people in the whole world. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. I buy the best farm in old Minnesota. Come on, Tony, I go get my money. Uh, no, 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 wait. Huh? If you don't go now, it's pretty late. But my money. Uh, but no, I, I tell you, they be cross now. You better wait till uh, tomorrow. No, I, I can't wait. Thirteen years I wait. I got to get money. But they're going to be close at that. Yeah. Now, come on. Uh, we go on down dock and see what is the first boat. Eh? Boat? Sure. So, so right away tomorrow quick, when you get a door for the ticket, 
You can catch a boat to home to the wife and the kids. Yeah. That'd be good, eh? Oh, yeah, Tony, yeah. Oh, my friend, I'm going to be so happy. All my life I've worked so hard. And now, three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. When I give you what you need, Tony, you are my friend. I, I want you to have something, too. Yeah. Hey, well, well, come on, eh? Let's get down to the dock. Yeah, sure, Tony. Anything you say. We go look at the ships in the water. Then I get my farm. I won't get to see such things again, eh, Tony? Yeah, no, of course not. That policeman, I wish we meet him now, huh, Tony? Huh? Huh. Well, what's the matter? Why you want the cop? Uh, I'll show him we ain't no bombs anymore. Three thousand dollars is ticket this for. But him and a man's no bomb with three thousand dollars. No. No, you bet your life is not. right here. I don't care how deep the water is as long as I'm on top. You, uh, you swim? No, that's a funny thing, isn't it? Yeah. Thirteen years a sailor and I couldn't swim. Well, there's plenty of other fellas like me. And anyway, the man, he don't have to know how to swim to work a farm. Oh, that water, she's so dark and pretty. That's why Yeah? Hey, uh, let me look and take it. Take it? Here's Swift's there. Oh, by you, know, you think maybe she ain't good, Tony, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know she's good. Right away, when I heard that fella say the former win, I know that's me. Here, Tony, there it is. See, it's a former on it. That's me, see? Uh, uh, lean over it right there. I can't see. Not that. sure. You see the numbers? That says six, nine... <gasps> Shot you up good, my nice son. <laughs> so you can swim, I squared. <laughs> well, thank you for the last. <laughs> there. Hey, what, the Swenson? You, you forgot the sweepstakes thing. <laughs> okay, I collect for you, farmer. <laughs> Three thousand dollars. <laughs> At last, I get a break. Listen to nothing. But, Tony, the man said that... Hey, man. What, man? The man that was here. He's been here a dozen times since midnight looking for you. Midnight? Who was he? What did he want? I don't know. He wanted you. 
Oh, Tony, I, I was so afraid. Afraid? Why, why was you afraid? Well, well... Well, well, answer me. Why was you afraid? Well, he... He was so strange. He... He acted so funny. What do you mean... Funny? Well, he... He spoke so funny. As... As if... As if what? Well, as... As, as if his mouth was full of water. You... You know, you try to make a joke with Tony, eh? No, Tony, no. I, I'm not fooling. Really, I'm not. He said that... You, you say something? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He said, tell him... Well, what, what, what did he say? Well, I, I, I couldn't hardly understand him. He, he talked so funny. But I, I think he said, tell him, tell him I was here. And, and then I think he said, the farmer. The, the, the farmer? Yeah, yeah, that's what he... Tony. Tony, what's the matter? What? What he looks like. What's the matter, Tony? What he looks like. Well, he... He was tall, and... And he... He looked like a sailor. And I... I think his clothes were wet. Oh, Tony, that's him again. That's the way he knocked before. No. Tony, what is it? You... You answer the door. I'm scared, Tony. You answer. You tell him to go away. Tony, don't stand there staring at the door like that. You're scaring me. Don't do it. You go away. You dead. What? Dead, you hear me? Dead. I killed you six months ago or dead. Oh, Tony, no. I throw you in the water, toss him out from here. You dead. Dead. Oh, Tony, Tony. You scare my wife, but you don't scare me. You found me, you, I kill you again. No, oh, Tony, don't. So I shall go away from the door, I shoot. Connie. Connie. I don't want to shoot you. I shoot him through the door. Can't get up. Can't he? Open up. Open up in there now. Open up. Can't I don't want to kill you. What's him? Can't he? Him. Open up now. Open up if you please. You swans on you. You think you got me, eh? You think you got me in a hot seat, eh? No, no, not me, swans on you, square head. You should get the fire escape. Stop it. Listen, Mike, you gotta help me. You gotta. Oh, take it easy, Tony. Take it easy. Every cop in a town. You shoot me down like a dog. Well, you killed one of them. What do you expect? I right, kill them all. Nobody can stop me. Nobody. Oh, Mike, you're my friend. You gotta get me out of town. How much dough you got? I got nothing. You're lying your teeth. You won the sweepstakes in Frisco, didn't you? Sure, but I'm going to tell you, Mike. Oh, no, no. Listen to me, cop killer. They got every road, every depot, every dock in this town covered. If it's free you want to get, then it's money it's going to cost you. Every cent you got. You'll... You'll get me out? So far out, there ain't a cop in the world can get you. Listen, at midnight tonight, the SS Probus is pulling out to go down through the canal... And then over to the coast of Ireland to go hunting for gold. Gold? Are you crazy? Uh, watch your tongue, me bucko. Gold, I said, and gold it is. Only they're going under the sea for it. What? You heard me. Under the sea. A million dollars in gold in the hold of the Tanya sunk by a sub. And these boys are going there to dive for it. Dive? Yeah. And if you decorate the mahogany in front of me with every cent you got in your pocket, you'll be on board that ship. You hear that, Swenson, you? Diving for gold. A million dollars. And me, I'm going to be on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Captain? Yeah, Tony. Sit down. Uh, she's getting pretty rough outside, eh, Captain? Yeah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, I'm a While you were sleeping before, 
the rest of the divers had a meeting. Yeah? Yeah. They looked over the weather reports and they decided they ain't gonna do no more diving. The white bellied lock. Wait a minute, Captain. You mean uh, we gonna turn the black here? Well, what else can I do? Three months out here in the open sea. And when we finally do locate the wreck, every mother's son of them turns chicken on me. So that's mad you wanna talk to me. Because even if you are no good rat, you're the best diver of the lot. You keep talking. Tony, listen. Under that buoy off the starboard, there's the Tanya with a million dollars in gold bullion in it. So? Go down and get your looks into it, Tony. And whatever you get, half of it's yours. You... You mean half? Sure. You get half. And I'll split the other half with the crew. A million bucks? Yeah, Tony, a million bucks. And you'll have half of it. You can do it, Tony. You can do it. I know you can. See, she's getting rough. But you never get the bends. They tell me you've gone down in rougher water. Yeah, but that water, she's cold. Half an hour, I'm a finish. In that room with the gold, who knows where she is? Tony, Tony, listen. I know just where that gold is stored. You kind of fool me, eh? No, no, as God is my judge, I'm telling you the truth. Jake located the room on his last dive yesterday. He told me only me about it. So? Don't you see, Tony, it's the chance of a lifetime. I got cold enough for one more day out here. If we turn back, we'll never locate the wreck again the way that sea's running. A half a million dollars in gold for you, Tony, right under your feet. Ah, don't be a fool, man. Take a chance and go down and try to get it. And if you win, you've got the world right in your hand, Tony. Well, will you do it? The world. I'll get away from him. Huh? Him? Who are you talking about? Who's talking to you? What are you sitting there for? Get me read. Get the pumps to go. Ready, Tony? Yeah, give me the head, sir. Here you are. And what are you standing there for? The helmet. Give me the helmet. Okay, okay. The captain. Yeah? What's the matter? I told you to keep the deck clear. Only the men I want. The rest to go below, or I don't die. All right, Tony. All right, you men. Get below. Every white belly one of you. Go on. Hey, hold up the helmet. What's wrong with the phone? Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Well, why don't you answer me? Okay, Tony, I hear you okay. Where's the bounce? Okay, I'm ready. Put the helmet on. Hey. Okay. Uh, hurry up, your marks. Hey, get them ports tight. You think I got all day? All set, Tony. Okay, put them all set. Watch that pump. I'll come up and I'll cut your heart out. Half a million dollars. Me. What call it? Down, down. Half a million dollars. All right, Tony? Hey, sure, I'm all right. Let me alone. Okay. Down, down. What a dark. Yeah, he came to me, Tony. Best time. Fifty, fifty. Half. Me. Ask me. Hey, listen up there. I'm on the button. You hear me? Tony, listen. Captain says hurry up. Squall coming up. You tell the captain if he take me off before I give a signal. I cut his heart out. But Tony... Shut up and let me on. Me. Ask for me. Captain said gold was inside the door. I bet. Half a million. At the door, the captain said. <laughs> Me and the captain are 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> Says 
to leave him alone. He don't want to talk to nobody. Oh, that no good rat. I was a fool sending him down. And he's on the bottom, all right. But what's he doing? Has he found the gold? Has he found the strong room? How long is he going to stay down there? Talk to him, Mark. Talk to him. Tell him he's got to win. Captain said he'll be right over the San Palucci. The gold. A room full of gold. And rich. All the money in the world. Me, Tony Rich. Rich. Yeah. All the money you want, eh, Tony? Oh. Who's talking? Me, who's the talking? What's wrong, Tony? Anything wrong? You up there. I told you I don't want to talk. So now you don't listen to me. What do you mean, all the money you want? What do you say that for, huh? I didn't say that, Tony. I've been standing by up here. Standing by up here? Wait, I get up there, I'll show you standing by. Wait, I get this headset connection with my feet. I fix you so you don't bother me no more. No, no. Wait, Tony. The captain says that... So, now talk. Now talk all you want, you selfish. Me, I won't hear you. Me, I'd be alone with my girl. No, Tony. Not alone. You up there. You stop talking to me. Stop it. I am gone here, Tony. With you. Oh. Who says that? I, I broke the next... Nobody can talk to me. Nobody. I will talk to you, Tony. I got much to talk to you. It's in my head. That's what it is. In my head. Not in your head. Look. Look straight ahead. Excuse You know me, Tony? Me in the water almost a year? No. No. Close to the window in your helmet. Oh. You don't like what you see, eh, Tony? My wife, my children. They wouldn't like it either, would they, Tony? Away. Go away. No. Don't stay in a hurry, Tony. We got plenty of time. Plenty. I worked for 13 years. You remember, Tony? Fourteen years for farm. Now I don't work no more. I used to wait for you. You. My heir. My heir. You take away my life, my kids, my life. No, I take a little air, eh, Tony? You sure a little air. Now I take off your helmet and come in with you, Tony, my friend. I come in. No, 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 He's there. Is he getting air? Yeah, sure, plenty. Everything's okay. Talk to him, Mark. Talk to him. He don't answer. Just yelling. Maury! Signal on the right line. He's signaling us, Captain. What? Yes, and everything's okay. What's to be taken up? But he's yelling, Captain. He's still yelling. Haul him in quick. Haul him in. How about the decompression? No, no, there's no time. We'll put him in the tank when we get him up. Something must be wrong. Yelling bunny mother on the phone is signaling okay on the lifeline. Hurry up, you men. Hurry up. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Come on. He's not there. It's not him. It's something else on his line. <gasps> Captain, look. It, his inner line, it's been chewed through by teeth. But what is it? What's tied to the lifeline where he was? Well, it's... Mother in heaven. It's a bar of gold.
I guess the old adage rings true. Money really is the root of all evil. If you enjoyed this episode, a good way to support the work we do here is to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning into Money, Money, Money from Lights Out, and make sure to come by next week to listen to Author and the Thing, the next episode from Lights Out. Did you know that Vintage Horror Cinema also hosts several spooky movies and vintage television shows from the past? You can check out classics like The Last Man on Earth from 1964 or the unsettling television program One Step Beyond, hosted by John Newland. I'll see you next week, and remember to stay spooky.